Hi guys, it's Trayvon Smooth Tech back again with another video. This time, this is Compact Rosario. This uh, was just sent to me uh, yesterday by one of my friends who work at Microsoft, and it's running a developer's pre-version of pre-version of Windows 8. And so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, they gave me this at the right time since Windows 8 is going to be released soon and now they opened up pre-orders. So I'm just going to give you a quick look around um, Windows 8. And if you're saying, oh, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it because my computer is not the best computer in the world. Well, you could still get it. This computer only is running 2 gigabytes of RAM. And um, so, yeah. I'm using a mouse just so you know, that way you don't say, oh, this video is fake. Well, I'm using a mouse. I've already installed some of my own apps here. These are basically apps that come loaded with your Windows 8 device. Um, and it is quite different. So, you have different tiles, just like you do on Windows 8 phones or Windows 7 phones. And each tile is an application. And so it's kind of intuitive like a kind of like a cell phone or a smartphone if you're used to that and it's really easy to navigate through um this is a news being news so it's by microsoft as you can see it has the different categories and then i could just go up here click on that and then i could read the full article and then it's really easy you could use keyboard commands to scroll back and forth or you could just use this bottom here right here and just go all the way back and then it's pretty cool instead of the um, start menu popping up it actually takes you right to the home screen which is nice um, I've been playing with this a couple days I haven't been I haven't fell in love with these maps here I think this map can be improved a lot more it's uh, no real satellite views or anything like that it's just a, a geographical map um, and the accuracy for the your location is actually off. See, it's saying that. Uh, let's see where it's saying. Uh, okay, now it's working. It was saying yesterday that I lived like way up here somewhere, and I was like, no, I live right down here. So um, that part is working now. Uh, but like I said, there's no changing it to different modes or anything like that. So it's just a uh, used for pinpointing different locations in different states and stuff like that. Um, Evernote, I love Evernote. S syncs your notes wirelessly throughout every device, and so that application is on here. It is free, which is cool. Um, I also installed the Bible. I love reading the Bible and stuff like that, so teaching Sunday school and different things, so this is going to help me out a lot. Um, also, one unique thing about this is applications. So you can get applications. I just downloaded that weather and news application um, thing. And there's a lot of free apps and there's a lot of paid apps. So it starts you off over here. You know, you get like eBay and stuff like that. Um, and then you move over to games, social, uh, entertainment, photo, music and video, sports books and references, news and weather, health and fitness, food and dining, lifestyle, shopping, travel, finance, productivity, um, tools, security, business, education, and government. So let's see some of these apps and um, education since education is a big part of people's lives. I mean, I'm going back to school, I actually start school today, so... Study online, star chat, I mean, star chart. It has some pretty good apps here, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, let's zoom back out there. Study online. This looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Homepage of your app shows you a collection of pre listed flashcards. Sat word list, sat word list, math formulas, square and cubes and functions, algebra formulas, math essential. This is pretty cool. It's pretty useful too. Um, and then we could just jump right back into the store over here. Government, it only has one in there. So, yeah. 
if you move your key right here, it brings up this little dock here. You just scroll, move your mouse here, dock brings up there. Um, and then over here is true multitasking. You can jump back into anything that you were in previously. And um, one last thing before I go. I'm going to do another video with more in detailed, in-depth look at Windows 8. But I'm going to show you guys another big major improvement. And this is none other than... Um, this is none other than the web browser, okay? So instead of having your dock up here, you now have your dock down here. Which is not that big deal big of a deal if you ask me I actually would like it better because the dock disappears after a while and it just gives you uh, an overall great view of the uh, browser really fast browser nothing too fancy nothing and not too fancy but it looks really nice and it works really really well so I'm just gonna jump back into um, MSN here and then let's try Yahoo. Bam. So I mean, it works smoothly, and you can, you know your back button still takes you back, and all that different things. Um, so just stay tuned for my full, in detail, in depth viewing of the new Windows 8. I'm gonna add uh, in some Microsoft Word and stuff like that, and show you how that looks on here. Um, also, one thing I didn't show you is you still have your regular desktop available. Sorry about that. Let me show you. So you just hit desktop, and it brings up you know this window screen here, um, and it just kind of looks like your regular Windows 7, except for the only thing you could do is you can look into your folders and browse the web. And the web browser is the same as the experience as you get on Windows 7 if you were to use this in the actual desktop setting instead of the pre-launch thing instead of the towels and applications so as you can see it's the same as Windows 7 the dock is back up here it's not down here and then you still have your um, toolbar down there so and then you just go back to your keyboard and you hit your home button and it takes you back there and I actually love this setting. I like it way better than if it was on the desktop version. So once again, this is Smooth Tech. I hope to see you in the next video.